Hey guys, hope you're all well. So I haven't done one of these types of readings in a while, so here we are. But let me just remind everybody that the purpose of this reading or these types of readings is just to help you gain some deeper insight into what might be going on between the masculine and a karmic partner or a karmic situation, okay? So if it's a person, it doesn't have to be a partner, although I will be doing the reading as if it is a partner, you can take the messages and apply them however they make sense if they do for you um but it doesn't have to be a person it can be a person it can be a situation it can be um a spouse a partner it can be a relative even a group of people um work an addiction whatever okay um also for some of you it might actually resonate the other way around all right because it could be that if the feminine is involved in some kind of a strong karmic situation, some of these messages might apply for your situation as well because we all have both masculine and feminine energies. All right, and yeah, this is general, so it's definitely not going to be everybody's situation. I mean, there are so many different types of situations out there, so we'll see what group we're gonna be tapping into today. But if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So let's get into it. Let's see what is going on with the masculine. And of course, this is for divine soulmate type of connections. All right, so what is going on between the masculine and the karmic relationship or a karmic situation? All right, we have a storm warning. Okay, so it feels like things are either really shaky right now, um, really stormy, right? Um, arguments, for example, um, fighting or something. Something is just not, not going very well, all right, in this connection, apparently. Let's see what else. And if it's not that it's happening now, it's coming up. Let's see what else. So we have return, soulmate, and then we have family and grief. Okay, interesting. All right, so this is like a very specific message here. Um, what I'm getting is that there has been a return in some way by the, in the divine soulmate connection, all right? Because we have returned together with soulmate. So this is either that you have been in separation and but have been in contact recently or have come back into contact, there's been a return, or um, the soulmate connection, all right, that would be with a divine feminine, has somehow come back up more intensely in the masculine's life, in the masculine's mind, in the masculine's heart. There's a return of the soulmate um, feeling, all right? But I'm getting that for a lot of you, this is actually going to be that there was actual contact or something or maybe um maybe the masculine got some kind of sign some kind of saw something that reminded him or her of the divine feminine all right and because of that it's causing a lot of grief when it comes to whatever their karmic situation is i mean we have family here so yes for some of them it could definitely be um, that they're in a family dynamic, right? Um, for others, it could just be that it's relatives that are the um, the karmic. Whatever the case is, there's a, there's grief. This returning of the soulmate connection is creating a lot of grief in the family or with the karmic situation, and that is why we have this storm warning. Okay, so again, because time is relevant, for some of you, this could be what is coming up. So let's get into the tarot. So let's see the mask, the masculine's energy in general towards the karmic relationship. Okay. 
Okay, we have the King of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so yeah, um, obviously this particular masculine is still feeling a little bit trapped here. Um, still feeling like they, they don't know how to get themselves out of a very unhappy relationship. And the Ten of Cups, it can also represent family, right? So, and then we had family with grief, and now it's in reverse. So feeling trapped in this type of a dynamic where things are just not feeling very good and they're not feeling very powerful at the moment, to be honest. Um, it also feels like the sense of even being a little bit, a little bit defeated. Um, I'm also getting with that King of Wands, this sense of not belonging. Not belonging and feeling trapped in this. Let's see what else. And then we're going to get, um, I just have the tower in reverse a fallout. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's kind of in line with everything, um, avoiding that tower, but yeah, we'll get a few more and then we're going to look at the, at the karmics energy towards, towards the situation. So let's see what is going on in their headspace. All right, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, so a lot of reversed cards here, all right? We only have one upright out of the six. There's a lot of coldness here. Um, a lot of coldness, but I feel like it's interesting because, yeah, they're processing this grief. I feel like whatever this is, it's, um, it's something that is it's like it's heavy enough that the masculine is having a little bit of a hard time seeing things clearly. Almost like this this return is really just shaking things up. They're trying to avoid pain. And they're trying to avoid um, disagreements here. But at the same time, though, I feel like that's going to be inevitable. Like, that's coming up because we have the Storm Warning card as the very first card out. Let me just get <clears throat> another three cards here, and we are going to clarify some of these. So, for what is going on with them emotionally, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Chariot, and the Page of Cups in reverse. And I just realized you can't see them too well. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, so emotionally, obviously, the emotions are not, are not there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> But what I'm getting with this row here is that the masculine is actually trying to, they want to avoid lying. So it's like they have this sense of, yeah, I'm not happy here. I feel trapped in this. I don't want to create pain. But I also don't want to keep lying. And they're feeling this very strong urge to move away from the line because I feel like even with the page of cups in reverse I feel like they're not really expressing how they're feeling at the moment so maybe this is somebody who had in the past like maybe there have been cycles possibly for a lot of you um, or a lot of them but it's like at the moment I feel like there was some kind of a remission and that's exactly why we have the return card and I feel like you know, if this resonates with you, like if you have had some kind of a reconnecting with, with your masculine, or if you happen to know that they have come across something that may have triggered them um, concerning you, there was a reason for that. And the reason is because they had fallen into some kind of a remission here, um, staying comfortable in, in this unhappy situation that they are in. And so this happened and now, now they're feeling like this chariot, like wanting to quickly move away from it and wanting to move away from what is not their true feelings. 
So yeah, let's actually clarify a couple of these before moving on to the karmic. And then I might pull a couple cards just to see what is, what this is leading to. So let's see. Let's clarify that top row. Alright, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Two of Wands. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of um it, it's like they've been carrying this this burden of something that is not resonating with them but again it feels like they've been it's like they've been hiding it and just like holding back from actually taking action towards love i feel like what it is here is that there's it's like they had left themselves um and what it is that truly speaks to them so this is also about self-love it's like they had put that they had put self-love to the side And just was kind of um, holding back, just waiting, just not even waiting. It, it was just like allowing things to play out, but in a way where this just kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Let's see. Let's see the second row because that was pretty general. of cups in reverse and the three of cups in reverse all these cup cards all showing up in reverse like every single cup card <laughs> um, is pretty much in reverse other than this ace of cups which is actually clarifying the eight of swords it's like feeling feeling like their emotions are trapped and what it is that they truly resonate with when it comes to love it's like they're they're almost feeling like they're forbidden from that which of course they're not right it's it's them doing this to their own selves right the eight of swords it's, it's somebody keeping their own self a victim um let's see here For some of this, for some of them, this might be representing children. If they have children, if they don't, I mean, there is no, there's no way that things can go back to how they were in this situation, right? If there was a happier time, all right, because we have both the six of cups and the three of cups, both in reverse, there is no going back to the past and making things happy again. But I feel like there was this point in time where, where they tried to do this in order to avoid that pain, in order to avoid that disagreement, just wanting to, almost like turning a blind eye to all of this, let's see, the world in reverse. Yeah, because then it's going to feel like, like they, they've been unsuccessful. There is something here that hasn't played out yet with this Two of Swords and the world being in reverse. Um, a cycle is not complete here, but it is in the works of happening though. There's a, there's a major lesson here that needs to be learned and I feel like they're like right smack in the middle of that. But with that Two of Swords being in reverse, it's also telling me that it's like they're they're beginning to take off that blindfold, whatever it was that what they weren't seeing or whatever it is that they're not seeing very clearly at the moment because of the grief and because they do feel shaken up. With that storm that's coming up, um, that blindfold is going to be removed. All right, let's see this bottom row. The Seven of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords, both both in reverse. So that's just confirmation that what I said before um, is actually what it is. Ten of Swords and Justice. Okay, 
So yeah, definitely feeling that sense of defeat. Feeling like, you know what, this is just done. Wanting to move away from the lying. Wanting to move away from the betrayal that they have been creating to their own self, but also to the situation, right? To this other person. Because they have not been speaking their truth. As I said, there have been lies here. And they don't want to lie anymore. So, I mean, it is going to be painful, right? For whatever reason. Um, because again, I'm getting that for this particular group, um, the karmic situation either involves family or some kind of a strong, either it's either a strong foundation that has been built or there's family members involved. It doesn't have to be that the karmic person is, is the family, but it could be that there are um, family influences. So take that however it applies. We do have justice though, right? Which is, <laughs> to me, it's one of the best cards in the deck. Um, I love justice because of what it represents. Like I would say, I know everybody says the sun is like, the happiest or you know most positive card in the deck and that is true but for me justice is like the most powerful or one of the most powerful cards um, because it represents truth first and foremost it represents karmic balance it represents fairness integrity all of those things and so this is what the masculine is wanting to move towards right this is what they're feeling like they want their emotions that have been covered up here with the Page of Cups being in reverse or this even representing how they feel about about a karmic um, person in their lives, right? They want to make things right. They want to speak their truth. They want to be in integrity, which is exactly what I've been saying in this row here, right? Not wanting to lie. Wanting to be authentic. And wanting things to be fair. And obviously it's not fair being somewhere where you feel like you don't belong. So, all right, let's, let's take a quick look at the karmic partner's energy. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so that's showing up for both of them. And the Two of Wands in reverse. All right, interesting contrast to the masculines who have the Two of Wands up right here as a clarifier. I actually feel like the this karmic partner actually knows about about the lies. They know what ha what it is that has been deceitful from the masculine's end, which, I mean, even if the masculine has, has not been unfaithful to them, okay, if they are a spouse, for example, um, but they still know that there has been something that has not been very honest. And they have not healed from that. And it, it almost feels like there's this refusal to heal, to heal that. Um, and kind of using that. I'm not getting like in a manipulative way, but this could be part of the reason why there's still something that needs to close out. That could be a part of it. We'll see. Let's see what else is going on in their headspace. And of course, we're only going to get information that is <clears throat> that is appropriate. Okay. Um, okay. So four of cups in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the two of cups in reverse. All right, they're all in reverse here. So there's a lot of reversals just between the two of them overall. So definitely getting that. Yeah, that storm warning. <laughs> that storm is definitely coming. And I feel like it's going to hit really, really hard.
So the karmic partner is, is feeling like there's, or at least thinking, like there's no saving this, right? There's, this is like, if it was going to be saved, it would have already kind of like that missed opportunity. But they're also feeling ignored, feeling like it's just not, it's not going back to how to how it used to be and this is actually very difficult for them to, to deal with. I'm even getting that this, this person doesn't even really feel love um, for the masculine. That two of cups being in reverse. I don't I'm not getting that they feel love. We don't we just don't have any lovey cards anywhere. Let's see. Let's get one more row. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. this I can't I can't make this up even if I wanted <laughs> the six of swords in reverse the five of wands and the five of cups in reverse yeah okay so this this is definitely verifying what I said before there's something that they are not that they haven't been able to get over yet or move away from or get past there's something here that has happened um, that they have not been able to come to terms with and it's something that they, I feel like they know. There's something here that they know. I don't know if the masculine knows that the karmic person knows this, but, but they do know. They know about that seven of swords. And they have not been able to move past that, and that is part of what is creating this conflict. I mean, look at that. And they have that two of pentacles in reverse, which is very similar to the storm warning, um, especially in the picture, in the image, if you were to see it. The five of wands, which is conflict, again, arguments, and then the Five of Cups in reverse, not being able to release something from the past and feeling that, I mean, they are feeling pain though. I just feel like there's no, there's no love here. This is something else. I mean, obviously for some of them, if this is a romantic partner, it could definitely be that, you know, if the masculine has had a relationship at the same time at some point with the feminine that is what it could be um, for some of them but it's not because of love that that the karmic partner can't heal from that it's not because they they have this love deep love for the masculine it's just the fact of having been betrayed lied to because there was dishonesty and for others of them of course it could be you know ego or um, just any other kind of, um, you know, like, um, what's the word? <laughs> like financial assets maybe, or just anything, anything that, you know, they just don't want that to be happening, obviously, for whatever reason. But it's not because of love. That's, that's my point. So let's see. I'll clarify a little bit um, more quickly here. See the top row. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse and the six of wands in reverse. So again, this is telling me, this is just confirming what I said. Um, that's why I don't need to clarify much because <laughs> this is what happens. Yeah, there's something that they know, something that, you know, may have, they may not have been aware of um, always or in the past it's like now they're they're aware of that something that was confusing to them or something that they weren't able to figure out there's something that they figured out when it comes to the masculine not having been honest about something and this has definitely affected their ego um but again it feels like they're just kind of going along with things because there there's this cycle that needs to be completed here there's a lesson that needs to be learned on both ends and i feel like that storm that's coming up it's just going to kind of you know, force that to happen. Okay, so for the second row, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, definitely, like I said, no emotions here. Um, there's a lot of thinking about the practical aspect of this. Again, not only that, the even the karmic partner knows that there is no um, potential here 
for things to really move forward. But it's like they're both kind of holding on here. I mean, even with this, that two of wands there being in reverse, like not wanting to make a change, not wanting to make a decision for something different, at least on the karmic side. But they're having a really hard time dealing, dealing with the fact that it's like they're being ignored, almost like even with that six of wands in reverse. Um, it's again, it's like ego feeling like, you know what, like, no, this isn't right. Like I, I'm, I'm the defeated one. I'm the one that's ign being ignored. And because of that, you know, that just makes them want to hold on to this even more. But again, like for the wrong reasons. Almost like they feel like they want this sense of justice because they because they were lied to or they were deceived in some way. Let's see the bottom row. Again, like they just they can't get past that. And I feel like, you know, the, the missing what they're missing here is that, yeah, but that might not be able to be corrected. I mean, all the masculine can actually do is, is apologize, you know, if there is, if it's warranted. Because I know for, um, for many cases, it could also be that the karmic partner maybe has done some things that, you know, could call for an apology. But it's, it's just not showing up here in this particular reading. Okay, so clarifying this bottom row, we have strength in reverse. Yeah, a lack of forgiveness. A lack of forgiveness. They feel like the masculine has been deceptive um, and they're just not able to forgive them at the moment and that's kind of like keeping them there almost like the, like they just want the masculine to make it to make it right so that their ego can feel better and then take the next step or and then see where it's where it's going to go um, <clears throat> but yeah that hasn't that hasn't happened and it I mean it it could because we do have justice here on the masculine side so I do feel like the masculine is actually going to come clean. Let's see. Let's see this five of wands and the five of cups in reverse. All right, and we have the two of cups. Yeah, they don't they don't want to let go what this once was. It's it's not the two of cups anymore, all right? Because we have the two of cups in reverse as a main energy here. Um, it's showing up here as a clarifier together with the five of cups and the five of wands they're still holding on to that memory of how things were and because things are not like that and because the masculine isn't hasn't really come clean about how they feel 100 percent it's causing a lot of tension between the two of them and it's causing the karmic partner to kind of want things to not be able to let go of that to not heal so it's actually you know Something needs to play out here between the two of them so that the karmic can actually accept what the situation is. Okay, so let's see. What this seems to be leading to here. What is going to happen in the near future? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. of swords in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse they're all in reverse um yeah okay so it feels like things are still needing to play out things are still needing to play out there's definitely no um no going back though there's no fixing this that's definitely for sure but that i feel like that ten of swords really just needs to run its course and close out Close out that cycle. Let's see for the comic side. I mean, they're definitely feeling that ending, though. They're definitely feeling that ending, all right, with that Ten of Swords even being here. But again, it just feels like there's it, it needs a little bit more just to fully fully close out. 
Okay, so for the karmic side, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse for them as well. The Five of Pentacles, they're getting all the fives. <laughs> five of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse again. All in reverse, okay, which is telling me that things are going to be stormy, all right? There is a lot of, I feel like a lot of intense energy coming up for them. That's not going to be very pleasant. That's a lot of aces in reverse. That's one, two, three, four aces in reverse. And it's interesting how it's the first and last card on the masculine side, and it's also the first and last cards on the karmic partner side. So it's like, there. this is a dead end. This is a dead end, and it's all about releasing something from the past here between them. Especially when it comes to the masculine not having been 100% honest about something. So, yeah, um, I feel like they're both actually going to see and come to terms with the fact that this is a dead end. It's, it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. And it's really just about them, both of them letting go, right? I mean, the masculine has the ten of swords in reverse, the karmic partner has the five of pentacles in reverse, you know, feeling lonely, like accepting the fact that yeah, you know, we have to just accept this loss, basically. And that's what that storm is going to do. All right, so let's get an oracle card to close this out. And sometime next week, I will be doing the, um, the regular um, Divine Soulmate and Karmic Situation check-in that I usually do. All right, so we have the full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Yes, that climax is <laughs> that storm warning. It's going to be, it, it's it's going to peak, basically. The climax is a peak. It's going to peak and it's it's going to be intense, basically. It's going to be intense and, and because it's Aries, it's a full moon in Aries, this is also related to action. So that this is actually going to give that um, it's going to push, it's going to initiate some kind of action here. So yeah, that is it. Um, please let me know if this resonated. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love.